Uh, so actually what you want to do when you do this is first power off the device fully from the operating system. And then you will boot it up and enter the BIOS. I believe that's the enter key when you're booting up. So you're pressing enter. And then what you want to do is enter the BIOS setup utility, which is F1. Once you're in BIOS, you go to config power. Um, and then disable built-in battery. Uh, and it will power off. You see there's no more power. And now everything is safe for you to open up. So first thing we're going to do is uh, move our external battery. I think I think this part was the uh, part that was kind of uncooperative. So what you can take you do is you can take a flathead. You guys can see it, flathead. And there's these little clips up top. You can just push them back while lifting up. There we go. Okay, cool. So we remove it. That's what it looks like. We can put it off to the side here. As you can see, I already opened this up before to put in uh, this third party RAM module uh, to increase the total size. Uh, we've got our motherboard connector and everything. Uh, for the CPU, it's just uh, these four screws, which makes it pretty easy to replace the thermal paste. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to use a flat to remove this fan connector. Okay, you know what? Maybe we can do it without removing the fan. Uh, what we'll do is we'll unclip the fan instead, and we'll just reclip it when we install it back. The fan itself is clean. Uh, the heat sink itself looks pretty clean. It's pretty small anyways. Uh, so what we want to do is we just want to clean up uh, the side of the pad and the actual CPU itself, and then we'll just re-put it in, and we're good to go. So what I like to do for this is, as you can see, I have this giant ass bottle of isopropyl alcohol. And I left the uh, the foil on, I just poked a little hole in it. And so that'll control the rate that the alcohol comes out as. I will take a little piece here of this big towel. I will fold it up until it's very stiff, basically. And I'm going to basically make like a little dabbing area by putting alcohol on uh, the side where I fold it. You just put it over the hole and then you invert it and let the alcohol sink in. It's like you're feeding a baby or something. Actually, I don't know why I said that. I never fed a baby in my life. Um, yeah, so we can just go ahead and get started. Rub, 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 rub. As you can see, very nice and clean. We'll let that dry. So for the actual dye itself, um, I like to use Q-tips because um, you can be a lot more precise and get in there and uh, basically if there's like any like capacitors or any other um, things on the side of the die like there are on like GPUs and stuff you don't want to use paper towels because you can just like rip it off um, just with the the rubbing back and forth motion of the paper towel so that's that's part of the reason why we kept a little hole here because we can just take our get the dust on here thing 
and it immediately soaks into the cotton swab. Okay, cool. So that was the hard part. Now the easy part is just putting the thermal paste on. Take your thermal paste. Squeeze out a little bit to make sure you have fresh paste ready to go. That's good. Um, what I like to do for this is uh, to make sure that you get everything. And let me go ahead and get it. Uh, because for these dyes, you don't want any part uncovered, basically is I cut out a piece of plastic beforehand uh, that I'll act that I'll, like acts my spreader. I just want to put a thin layer um, across the die and then I'll put a little extra glob on top. Uh, just like sort of push that out of the way. I don't care if it really spills out um, off the die because it's not conductive thermal paste. Uh, you just want to make sure you cover every single inch of the die itself. So any hard plastic uh, like uh, Bakery uh, containers or like, uh, like Uber Eats, like food containers are really good choices for that. So let me just show you what I did. Okay, so I didn't think ahead when I chose the plastic for this piece, but it's clear, so it makes it harder for you guys to see. But I will cut off a piece. And this will be my spreader. Right? What you want to do is... Uh, I like to do like a little snake motion uh, just to make it easier to spread out. So rest your wrist on something stable. And just draw snakes back and forth. Okay. See like that. Uh, we'll do the same thing for this die. This one can just be a line. That's good. Sorry for the extra dribbling of paste. So then, what we want to do with this is just bend it uh, from the sides, so you create like a little uh, divot basically, and you'll use that to spread out the paste. So start from the middle and just go to the sides. Okay, that should be good enough. Put this in our waist thing. And then what I like to do usually is just put a little extra dab, dab on top. Come on. God, it's so messy. Good, that's fine, that's totally fine. Any extra that we don't want, what we can do is take our Q-tip and just scoop it up. Okay, awesome. So now that that's done, we just put on our, our screws, our pressure plate. Give it a good wiggle, good pressure. And then as I've mentioned before, you wanna do the star pattern. And that's how you remove the thermal paste and apply a new one on a Lenovo uh, T480.